Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Nick from NickSaysGo.com. I talk about everything from style, design, home decor, and more. And today, I'm gonna talk about skincare. To me, skincare is one of the most important things you can do for yourself on this planet. There's nothing better than taking care of your face, taking care of your skin. You only get one, so you know it's very important we take care of that. Uh, I think I, I think I do all right for myself, you know. So I'm gonna teach y'all what I do. Uh, I'm gonna show you all my quick five-step routine that I do every morning. Um, I also am gonna show you two products for each step, right? So just give you a little bit of options, give you some variety. You got two products you can use for each step. Um, very easy. Like I said, I do this every morning and uh, keeps me keeps me looking young, fruitful, and, and youthful. <laughs> so let's get right into it. First step of the five-step routine, you gotta wash your face, right? So with that comes cleansers. All different types of cleansers out there, all different types of ingredients. Uh, when I wash my face, I try to stick with cleansers that are more on the subtle and very gentle side. Um, I'm not gonna say that I have sensitive skin, but I don't like to overdo it on the cleansing step, right? Just give me something nice, subtle, gentle. Let me wash my face for about a minute or so, and I'm good to go. So the two cleansers I have here today, first up is by Aesop. Aesop is one of my favorite brands in general, and we're looking at the fabulous face cleanser here. As you can see, I love this thing. Obviously, I need some more. <laughs> I'm about to run out. Uh, Aesop is good though. Bergamot, rind, chamomile, bud, rosemary leaf, um, lots of aloe leaf in here as well. Very, very good if you are sensitive um, about your skin. Um, if you have sensitive skin, or you know you just want something that's a little subtle, right? 50 bucks, pretty good size container. I've been using this for a while. I need to get another one, but shout out to Aesop. This is good stuff right here. Another cleanse I'm gonna recommend for you, if you really want something subtle and gentle and you know, you're somebody that you love the more sensitive natural ingredients in your products, I'm gonna recommend Pharmacy Clean B. Uh, this has never let me down. This is actually my everyday one that I use now. And again, <laughs> I'm about to be out, so you can see I'm telling you what's up here. Uh, Pharmacy overall, I just, I love. Lots of clean ingredients in there, but here's the thing. There are a lot of brands that'll have really clean ingredients, and clean, but they don't work that well. Pharmacy is one I can say, they're one of the most clean brands you can get ingredient wise, brand wise, their mission, everything, all of the above. Very, very good people. They care about good things and uh, the products actually work. So I recommend Pharmacy. Get you some Clean B, ultra gentle, every morning, every night, wash my face with this. I'm good to go. So. First step, wash your face, get a cleanser. After you wash your face successfully, here comes step number two. You gotta apply a toner. Again, toners come in all shapes and forms. Um, I like to use toners that also do a little bit of exfoliation. Um, when you exfoliate, I prefer chemical exfoliations, right? I don't, I don't want to see you guys using the scrubs, the St. Ives peach scrub or the pomegranate scrub or whatever it was. They taught us like a decade ago. We don't 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 use that. Get you a chemical exfoliant. Stick to that. So that's what I use, right? So both of my toners have light exfoliants in them. And let's get into that. So first up on the list, another good choice by pharmacy. We are talking about pharmacy deep sweep. This right here is very gentle, very hydrating. It doesn't overstrip your face. You can use this morning or night, um, but I use it in the morning. Features moringa and papaya in there. Smells amazing, feels amazing on the skin. I will tell you something though, if you're using something with BHAs in it or AHAs, make sure that you wear sunscreen at the end of your routine. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get to step five, but just know if you're using anything like this, it's imperative that you wear sunscreen. I don't want you to wreck your face. So Pharmacy Deep Sweet, major choice. Huge fan of this here. Give it a check out. The second toner I'm gonna show you, similar, but I use this for the dark spots on my face that I get sometimes, whether I get too sharp of a lineup or I cut myself, or I get the, the rare pimple that you know leaves a dark spot on my face, whatever the case, right? We get dark spots sometimes, you wanna get rid of them. Right here, I use Ole Henriksen Glow 2 Well Dark Spot Toner. 
This right here is recommended to me by a good friend of mine, Tanya. She she showed love, got me hip to this. This is a game changer. This helped my face out so much, evened up my skin tone, um, and it's, it's nice. This is really good. Same thing. There are acids in this right here. If you're using anything with any kind of acid in it, any kind of exfoliant that's a chemical, you gotta use sunscreen, but we'll get to that later. Step number two, apply a toner, all right? Step number three, you gotta have a serum. You don't have to, but you have to, <laughs> because I said so. So you gotta get a serum. I use two different ones as well. Uh, now, these are interesting. These are interesting. The first one here is by my shell right here. This is a CBD serum, right? I've been recently getting on the CBD wave for a lot of different things, you know, experimenting with it, CBD rubs, CBD, um, you know, tinctures or whatever the case. The second serum I want to show you, I'm a huge fan of this one, massive fan. Um, I just got hit to this one pretty recently too, I would say maybe about three weeks ago. And I instantly fell in love, man. This is by Byro New York and it is a tomato serum. So Biro, all of their products are based on like salad ingredients. Um, so you, you'll find a lot of things like that. So this tomato serum here, I highly recommend that. Beautiful color. It applies to the skin very well. And I'm a fan. So far, you wash your face, you put a toner on, you put a serum on, now you gotta moisturize. Again, I have two great moisturizers for you. One is something that is always selling out man and uh i i had to check the hype out for myself man i kept hearing about this brand i kept seeing it all over my twitter timeline i think i saw beyonce talk about them one time and i was like i gotta i gotta order it for myself and try it out and that is the base butter radiate face jelly this stuff right here yo aloe vera shea butter lavender oil almond oil tea tree oil I gotta show you what this looks like on the inside, man. If you can see this texture right here, this is like, dude, this makes my face feel so good, man. It gives you a good little natural glow. Come on, man. You can see the chunks of the shea butter in there. This is one of my favorite products ever that like I've just ever experimented with, ever tried. Also owned by black women, which I'm also always a fan of so if you get a chance cop some base butter definitely good people good product now great people great product so get some base butter for sure another moisturizer that i'm a huge fan of you're gonna see a pattern here you know i love my pharmacy stuff this is daily greens by pharmacy beauty when i use this man i get them i get the most perfect like texture to my skin it's like soft and plump and I'm moisturized and I just, man, I just, I feel good, man. So similar ingredients to the deep sweep here. This is from the same line with the moringa and the papaya in it. Same line here. I like to use these in combination with each other. If I'm going to use one, I'll use the other at the same time, the same morning. So if you like one, get the other, highly recommend that. So now, Last but not least, arguably the most important step, you wash your face, you put a toner on, you put a serum on, you moisturize your face, you gotta protect with the sunscreen. If you don't learn nothing else from me, you gotta get some sunscreen. I don't care what they told you, if you're black, you gotta wear sunscreen. If it's winter time, wear some sunscreen. If it's cloudy outside, wear some sunscreen, right? Protect your face you know, prevent those wrinkles and just take care of your skin overall, right? If you do all this other work to take care of your skin with your diet and your routine and all that, sunscreen is just the, the icing on the cake, right? Get some sunscreen. There are two sunscreens that I use and I rotate between. Again, you're gonna see a pattern here. Pharmacy Green Screen, SPF 30. Amazing sunscreen here. This was actually one of the first sunscreens I ever tried. Non-greasy. Um, and also protects against the rays that come from smartphones and computers, which is also pretty dope too. So if you see pharmacy green screen, give them a shout out. 
And this right here is another one I had to try for myself, right? When I first heard of them, everybody was just ranting and raving. I had to try. That's black girl sunscreen here, SPF 30. Now, both of these sunscreens, especially black girl sunscreen are going to give you that nice, even like that nice, even melt into your skin. A lot of sunscreens aren't made for people of color, right? Black folks and people of color, anybody with any kind of melanin, if you get the average sunscreen, you put it on your face, it's going to leave a, a white overcast. It's like purple kind of overcast on your skin and it, it just doesn't look great, right? You're going to walk down the street looking like Casper the ghost, right? It works, but you're not going to look great. So both of these sunscreens here that I featured, they actually absorb into your skin perfectly. There's no, you know, white cast left over. There's no, no purple cast left over. You look amazing. Nice natural glow. Your skin is protected. Feels amazing, right? It's just the perfect way to cap off a nice routine every single day. These are the five steps that I do every morning. Treats me well. Uh, if you're not on a routine, consider using some of these products that I've mentioned. I'm gonna list every single product in the video below. Take a look. If you have any questions, let me know. I also wanna know what's in your routine currently. What are you doing? What do you have questions about? Let's talk about it in the comments below. DM me, email me, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm not a skin expert, but I've experimented enough and I kind of know what works for me. So if I can at least give a simple recommendation from there, I'm more than happy to do so. If you've enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. Like I said, give me your skincare tips, comments, routines, everything below. And uh, until next time, peace.